Good evening, everyone. My topic is the right analysis of wrong abuse in parental psychology. Child abuse and elderly abuse both are an important challenge to help both physically and mentally. In India, over 6,18,399 child abuse cases were reported in 2020, and there are studies stating a high prevalence of elderly abuse cases of about 9 to 60, 61 percentage. So many cases, or these are all reports of reported cases, but many cases have never come to light at all. Firstly, because no one notices that the abuse has happened. And secondly, because there's hesitation for the victim to reveal the abuse. Most of the elderly abuse cases are failed to report since the victim may not even come in contact with the people outside. The child abuse or maltreatment constitutes all form of physical and or emotional ill treatment, sexual abuse, neglect or negligent treatment or commercial or other exploitation, resulting in actual or potential harm to child's health, survival, development or dignity in the context of relationship of responsibility, trust or power. The elderly abuse has been defined as, sing as single or multiple hurtful acts of commission or omission inflicted on an elderly person, elderly person by a person in a position of trust. General manifestations or actual manifestations we, uh, which we encounter are multiple bruises, abrasions, lacerations, contusions, hematomas, alopecia, identification of the commissures, unusual fear and behavior. Uh, when it comes particularly to elderly patients, patients have inappropriate touching, like the unexplained power of autonomy, etc. And intraoral manifestations can be torn labial or lingual freedom, abrasions, lacerations, tongue palate in found in the gingiva tongue palate, floor of mouth, fractures, dislocations, avulsions, pathologic mobility of the teeth, fractures of the mandible, mandible maxilla, malocclusions, and ulcers and vesicles. These are more common. Ulcers and vesicles are more prominent in sexual abuse cases. And when it comes to elderly abuse, there will be abandoned plaque and food debris in the mouth, broken dangers or restorations. The caregiver may refuse to pay for basic dental care, unusual return checks. But among the types of uh, child abuse, physical, sexual, emotional abuse and neglect, emotional abuse, perhaps, and when it, among the type of elderly abuse and neglect, neglect perhaps, like uh, neglect is the most prevalent elderly abuse case. Why don't victims reveal? Why don't victims tell? They don't uh, reveal because of the self-blame, shame, fear, negative judgment about themselves, physical and mental dependence on the caregiver and disillusionment. They don't, this can, self-blame can also be imbued, but imposed by the abusers in the victim's mind. So a dentist, he should see a patient as a whole, just, just not as a whole or an oral cavity, which means the oral cavity, which means a, a dentist, a dentist must identify the child abuse or uh, elderly abuse when a patient or a victim comes to him, because about 60 to 75 percentage of all abuse cases involve injuries to head, neck, and mouth. So dentists are in perfect position to see the signs of maltreatment. How to suspect an abuse of a patient of any abuse of a patient comes into our clinic? We can just check how does the child or old man respond to others? Are there any wounds or bruises on the face or the body? Uh, any, if there is any discrepancies between the clinical findings and history provided? Is the child or the old man's clothing appropriate for the present weather? Uh, or if he's wearing, if it is a sunny time and a sunny weather and he's wearing a full uh, clothes, etc. And if there is a delay in seeking the treatment or in the history of multiple injuries and uh, incomplete history or inadequate explanation of the injuries. Further probing should be done for the patient exhibiting violent behavior and withdrawal from touch, oblivious of the environment, unusual behavior or ill knowledge. So, and we, we must examine the middle third of the face for bruising around eyes, petechiae and square of the eyes, causes in the eyes, bruised nose, de deviated nasal septum or any other signs of nasal bleeding. So we have to 
organize all this record, report, and refer. There are many organizations, mainly like Panda, prevent abuse and neglect through dental awareness uh, for child abuse cases, and for uh, many other elderly helplines across India and world to help uh, elder abuse against elder abuse. Why most of the dentists flinch from reporting abuse? Because of the, the main reasons are because of the fear of legal entanglement, fear of losing patients, apathy to the gravity of the crime, wary of being accosted by the family, lack of faith in child protection services, and impro an improper education and finding in the subject. So to help a child, Grow for self-respect, security and self-respect, security and satisfaction, we as dentists can help. Thank you.